the monument Denali 605. I'm one of the first to review this 2024 premium flagship grill from Monument Grills. It is crafted from stainless steel that guarantees durability and longevity. This grill came very well packaged in two boxes. Took me about two hours to fully assemble the grill. The instructions are straightforward. They come with this grill, but if you have any problems assembling this grill, they have a video on their website showing you step by step just how to put this grill together. It's very easy, very straightforward, and very precise. Everything fit like a glove, no issues whatsoever. After the full assembly, I went ahead and did a 30 minute burn in to get rid of any kind of machining oil or anything that was used in the production and fabrication of this grill. This is a family size grill coming in at a whopping 900 square inches of cooking area. You can find the actual dimensions on their website. This grill has explosive performance. It's equipped with one built-in ceramic burner and five blade infrared burners. It can put out 66,000 BTUs and reaches to 700 degrees in 10 minutes on high. The searing station featuring a high fire ceramic side burner unit with 12,000 BTUs, stainless steel grate. The main cooking chamber has an upgraded heavy porcelain enamel cast iron grates, ensuring even heat distribution and longevity. The Denali 605 Pro has an intelligent PID algorithm based temperature control giving you real-time temperatures alerts on your phone. The tri-colored knobs white indicates power on, red for high heat, and orange for low heat. To turn the lights on or off, there is a button located to the far right of the knobs. It also comes with two meat probes. The Denali 605 Pro also has an upgraded clear window lid. It also has an easy swap propane tray that makes it super easy to swap out the bottle when needed. Monument has also upgraded the battery box. It now holds four D cells for extended life. The Monument Denali 605 Pro also comes with a rotisserie with two pairs of forks or you can use one single pair, just like I did on this rotisserie chicken. This unit has an easy to remove drip tray. Just remove it from the back to do any kind of cleanup and it will need cleaning the more and more you use this. Directly under that is a grease tray that holds an aluminum tray to make for very easy cleanup. You have place to hang your cooking tools on each end of this unit giving you a total of six hooks. There's also adequate room for storage on the left-hand side of this grill. The new built-in infrared broil zone has a variety of cooking grates, and I've got the cast iron plate that is reversible if you wanna put markings or you have a flat side if you simply just wanna make smash burgers, bacon, whatever the case may be. And so you know, if you look under accessories at the Monument website, you will find other options for this multifunction cast iron grill grate, as well as a lot of other cooking and grilling accessories. This pit also comes with a rain cover. And right above the porcelain enamel cast iron grates, there is a stainless steel multifunctional warming tray. This pit came with four casters that not only swivel 360 degrees, but they also lock. Now they are made of plastic and they're pretty small. So if you're rolling on concrete like I did, you will have absolutely no issues with this. They're plenty adequate, but if you've got some sort of rough terrain or whatever to roll this over, you might have some issues with that. I would like to see them upgrade these at some point, but they are adequate for my usage. Another option that I got with this grill is a smoke box, stainless steel smoke box that can hold pellets or wood chips, either one to give your food a smoky flavor. You can always cook indirect on a gas grill just like you can any other grill and you can apply smoke through these smoke boxes, very handy. 
So after completing the burn-in on this new Monument Denali 605 Pro Grill, I had to try it out. So I started with some German bratwurst that I actually made back in November of last year. I had one pack left in the freezer and I put these on indirect. I had a burner to the left and a burner to the right lit up on high and I was looking for somewhere around 300 degrees to get that skin that nice crisp. And these cooked up perfect. They cooked up even, it didn't get too hot. There was no excessive burning or charring. It did fantastic. Really couldn't ask for better results and it tasted mighty fine. So after the German bratwurst, I had to check out the rotisserie. I wanted to see how well it functions, what speed it turns at, how much clearance I'm going to have between the chicken and the grate, or in my case, the chicken and a drip pan. I did install a drip pan under the chicken just to make for easier cleanup. There's no sense making a huge mess if I don't have to. But the chicken turned out fantastic. I hit all my target temps, no excessive burning or charring or anything like that. It was really a nice golden color bird. Couldn't have asked for better. There's no way I was going to do all of this cooking and not try out the ceramic infrared sear burner. And that's exactly what I did with two ribeye steaks. These ribeyes are around five eighths to maybe three quarter inch thick at start. And so that is a perfect steak just to sear. No reverse sear needed. Just sear it on both sides to your liking. I personally like a lot of char. I like that fat getting those little char bits. Really gives it that char broiled flavor. These were our supper last night and we were both very happy with them. So from the easy installation all the way up to actually firing up this pit and using it for the first time on the German bratwurst and then the rotisserie chicken and finally the seared ribeye steaks. I was happy with every function of this. I can't wait to use it again. The one thing about a gas grill is convenience. You can just come in from work. You can fire your grill up, get it hot. You can do burgers. You can do steaks. You can do hot dogs. You can do chicken, obviously. You can do anything you can do on any other grill. You can even smoke meats with this with the smoke box. I'm happy to have it. It's been a while since I've had a gas grill. So it's definitely got a place here at my house. And I hope y'all look into the Denali 605 Pro by Monument Grills. It's very well worth taking a look at. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Russ Jones with Smokey Ribs Barbecue.